So every day we hear from so many people who are out of work and they're just really frustrated at this point tonight. One woman struggled to track down her money. Where is it? She was persistent too. She called the unemployment office guys 900 times today. Yes, 900, wow. trying to get some answers. Natisha Lance is live at the Georgia Department of Labor tonight in downtown Atlanta with her efforts, Natisha. Well, Aisha, just as you said, 900 times this woman tried to get through to the Georgia Department of Labor. It speaks to really this woman needs her money and really she is not the only person in this position. You have reached the Georgia Department of Labor. This automated welcome from the Georgia Department of Labor, a familiar voice to thousands of Georgians who are struggling to get answers about unemployment benefits. At 11 Alive, we get questions about them too. Today from Joe, I need help finding out about my unemployment benefits. It's been three months and I'm not getting a response or help from G Doll. Rick, I have not received anything in 11 weeks. At this point, I'm desperate. And Kayla Morrow. We get a busy signal. We get um, something that sounds similar to a like a fax line or a, like what the old dial-up AOL used to sound like. She's it frustrated kind of from like calling for two weeks. Um, Kayla, an out-of-work waitress, downloaded an automatic redial app to make the calls for her after dialing and redialing. Crashed at 916 phone calls. She filed back in June but made an error. Kayla says that mistake led to weeks of unanswered calls, emails, and social media posts. Right it's now, time but, she know, we're, doesn't we're, have to waste. I'm not going to be homeless tomorrow but I'm not gonna say that I'm not gonna be homeless two weeks from now. The Georgia Department of Labor tells us it normally receives 25 to 30,000 calls a day. 50 people take those calls. 42 career centers across the state also take calls and reply to email messages. The department says social media messages are replied to seven days a week. And Kayla tells me that she still has faith that the system is going to work out for her. And some of these cases, they're all unique in their own different kind of way. Some of them require more than just the email or social media post. You really have to talk to somebody. So Kayla says what she was told today is just keep calling until you get an answer.